if they want to put the biggest money business fight the UFC can put together, it's Colby Chaos Covington versus Israel Adesanya. Yeah, what if what if you last if you lost the last fight though? You would because you lost the fight before that, right? No, I won the fight before that. Everybody, when I was in Madison Square Garden, yeah. first off, when yeah. I fought Usman, every single fan after I left, they're like, "Dude, you won rounds." But you have an five. L on the card. Yeah. I mean, by three judges, I mean, those are three stooges. How am I going to let them dictate what my life and my legacy is? You like, actually the truly... people know the you truth. You actually truly think you won that fight. Yeah, I, I, I swear so to God, God in my life, Like, listen to me. I'm your I boy. I love I lo your, your shoulders respect. Bro. Love you. I think you lost the fight. I think Usman what? kicked the shit out of you. What I think he beat you, you now. And I just gave you respect. You I just gave you respect. Yeah, listen, how high are you? Colby, listen, listen. How high are you? Listen. I'm not disrespecting you. You got to go rewatch that fight, man. You must have not seen the tape. I've watched it five times. I almost The fourth round, I almost finished him. He was done. If he didn't go to the stool, he was he was stumbling around. He couldn't even keep his feet. Yeah. It was a hell of a fight, There was 30 seconds more. He's done. I mean. It was a hell of a fight. But the last fight, you just. I can't believe you said that. I didn't get touched. It was flawless victory. But it wasn't on the Usman level. Yeah, but, you know, Usman's still my son. You know, I'm better than him. Even he said he's got to, he, he even said at the press conference before his last fight, he's like, you know what? I need to come out and I actually need to go beat Cole because I didn't prove that I'm a better fighter. Like, he didn't come demolish me. He didn't down, he didn't knock me out, leave me unconscious like he did to Street Judas Masvidal. Mm -hmm. It was competitive, man. We went five rounds. He won three rounds. Great, it was Bob, one of the greatest how could fights. You say, how, it was one of the greatest fights. It really was. But how could you say I got dominated if I lost three rounds to two on the judges? They picked three rounds to two. He won by one measly round. Right. How was that dominated? He won by I, one I round. I was at the fight and I, a lot I watched of it. Yeah. A lot of people thought that one round he won. No, a lot of people thought I won. Yeah. Rounds three, four, and five. I won the last three rounds, if you ask me. I, I mean, I think you lost the fight, plain and simple. But at the end of the day, well, there perspective. Third, there, there just being honest with you, and this, there might be, but I think I'll tell you this though: be. your last fight, like I just said, was fucking incredible. Is it? How much does that, you know, kind of losing a fight like that, right? When you're talking all the shit, and you're, uh, I'm the man, I'm all this, and and you and you lose a fight because it's an L in the scorecard. You got to come back down to earth a little bit. If no, you, it wasn't an L on the scorecard. It was a, it was a it was a great notch in the scorecard. You know, Madison Square Garden, fourth highest gate, Bob, in the history of Madison Square Garden. Colby Chaos Covington, top of the marquee, mm -hmm. fourth highest gate in in mm -hmm. history of that arena, not just for fighting, right? Events, entertainment. You know, so you're talking about some of the greatest entertainers of the world: Muhammad Ali, Rolling Stone, some of these great people. Colby Chaos Covington, now fourth highest gate, Madison Square Garden history, followed up by T-Mobile Arena. My last fight with Street Judas Masvidal for the King of Miami belt. Mm -hmm. Followed up with that fourteenth highest gate in the history of the company. Mm -hmm. Any weight class, any amount of time. The business I'm doing for the UFC, I'm in the biggest and best fights. There's no L's on my scorecard. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm undefeated. I'm undisputed. Bob was like saying you were a pussy before you got here. I just wanted to know that. Colby, hey, but listen. that's okay because Bob can have his own opinion. You know, I'm not going to be mad at him. He has a different is, opinion than me. Could you, could you I'll, chirp Bob like you were Col fighting Colby, him? Like, I'll, what would I'll you say to Bob? Something. If you were about to fight Bob, what would you say to him? <laughs> Colby, what you want to understand is you ignore the rat. You like let the, We call him the rat. We let him just, you know, <laughs> yeah, don't listen to him. Just let him do his thing. You know what I mean? That's it. What are you ranked right now? Number one. You're number one. Yeah, it goes champion the number one. So I'm the number one ranked fighter but that's two there's somebody in front of you though right no there's it goes champion the number oh, one word okay but who's mine is the guy though now in your head no poirier bro no but who's mine beat him already right they beat fought him. twice yeah there, ne there needs to be a third fight bro there yeah, has to be, has to happen, be. Though. yeah it's unfinished business even he keeps entertaining he's like dude i need to come out here and i need to really beat colby but you need to be, show that i'm the better fighter right he didn't yeah. show it. He knows it because even all the fans that ask him, the people ask him, they're like, dude, you didn't beat him in Madison Square Garden. Like that wasn't a clear, con concise victory. It was very close. There's a lot of fucking, a lot of people that thought that I did win. If you go, I promise you, if you look at first off the strikes chart, I won every strikes round, th round three, four, five. And if you go look at the fight round by round, I'm telling you like, mm -hmm. The only damage he did is when I slipped on a banana peel in the second round, you know, but I, I wanted to take a knee for first responders. That's what it's all about these days is taking a knee for, you know, our heroes here in America. So I took a knee. I got back out third, fourth and fifth round, Bob. I dusted his ass. Oh, Salim, Salim. pop in, pop in. Come here. I got to pee anyway. Pop in. Kings of Miami. You think like all, like Salim, Kyle and him beat the fuck no. out of you? I got a ring, like a star, like three rounds. No Girls. way. Me, Steiny, and Salim? Yo, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> That's three punches, bro. What are you talking about? Maybe you could, all right, well, you get like six weeks of training or something. You guys can make an F plan or something. We need fucking 10 years, bro. Maybe. Do they get a bat? Or I think, like, I'm not trying to, like, be the man. Like, I, some reason, I, I think I can kick the shit out of you. You do. I love that. Oh, dude, I love bro, that. What, what the, the fuck, fuck is, is going awesome, on, awesome, bro? You have to be he him. believes in What's himself, this dude? bro. Hey, let's be proud for Bob. But you said yeah. you don't like. No, I'm not bro. proud of that. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Bro, you said if people talk to you like that, you won't accept that. No, it's okay. I said it's could okay you beat to him be one, Could you beat him one-handed? 
I think I could beat him one fingered. You gotta rough him up a little bit. <laughs> All my hands behind my back and just have one finger, one pinky. You gotta rough him up oh, a little bit. Talk to my people, yeah. talk to Dana, we'll make it happen. <laughs> I think Dana would let that happen. <laughs> Covington, one finger versus Mary. <laughs> you, you guys have any questions or no? You working on this guy? Ooh. Oh, oh, you got the you the, C, the CEO of EPO. How could I forget him? Daddy, his cra his craters come off his fucking face. Dad, Shit, so that ain't my daddy. <laughs> but I'm glad that you have your opinion. You know, we're in America. We have constitutional yeah, rights, right, so you right, have freedom right. of opinion. But I know you wouldn't say that if we were face to face. Oh, well, let's line it up. Oh, you don't want that <laughs> work, bro. Yeah, you don't want that work. You gotta, you, you gotta select these careful. people better, yeah. Gabe. We've hey. his meta card. He no longer has his meta card. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. Man. That'll be on the, oh, you know, the meta card Instagram. Yeah. Meta card holder gets thrown off a balcony in the end. <laughs> meta card holder Kobe gets fucking through. wedgie. Gets thrown in a locker like a little fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs>